everyone, it's Pat from Seattle Coffee Gear, and today I've got a bit of a different kind of super automatic coffee and espresso machine. Uh, this is called the Spin Coffee and Espresso Maker, kind of a smart coffee and espresso machine, and it operates a lot differently than other machines in the super automatic category. So on its surface, it's gonna have some similarities to those kinds of machines. It's got a grinder built in with a bean hopper on top. It's got our brew spout right here, and we've got some controls right up here. We've got a water tank that's removable in the back and it does have water filtration that you can get and put into it. And otherwise, you know, we've got a drip tray that comes out and it's got a lot of similarities to other machines. It does not have a milk frother, which you might notice, but that's just part of the way this machine works. It doesn't do milk. There is a separate milk frother that you can get, and we'll talk about those accessories in a little bit. The big thing about this machine that makes it different than other super automatic espresso machines is how it brews and the service behind it. So instead of brewing with sort of traditional techniques that are done with a set of different mechanical objects inside, like you get with most super automatic espresso machines, this machine actually grinds coffee, transfers it to a brew chamber, and then spins it very fast to extract the coffee. So it's kind of a complicated process and it's definitely a little different than we've seen in other machines. And to be honest with you, we were skeptical here about the way that this machine makes coffee, but once we had a few of its different drink options, it made us really excited. So this machine is gonna brew different kinds of drinks by modifying parameters like grind size, dose amount, the speed that it spins at, water amount, and the steps in order that it does all this stuff in. So it means that it makes it into a very versatile machine that can brew a lot of different kinds of coffee and that we think you'll really like. So let's go ahead and go through the process of making a drink on the spin. So I've got my phone here and I've got the app pulled up. And what I'm gonna go ahead and make right now is, let's go with the coffee option. So this is gonna be a little bit different than the kind of coffee you would normally get from a super automatic espresso machine because again, it's doing this sort of spin brewing process. So it's not just pushing more water through the same dose of coffee that a lot of super automatics do. That's one of the things I really like about this machine is that when it uses these different drink types, it's actually pretty aggressively changing the way that it works. So if you're a big coffee nerd, you might think, well, then that means that it's not making a real espresso. And it does definitely work differently than an espresso machine. So it's true, it's not necessarily pressing the, the water through like it does with an espresso machine. And that may be something that's a bit of a deal breaker for you, but we found that the versatility more than makes up for the sort of difference in tradition that it's, it's doing here. So now that we've got our drink ready, I'm gonna give it a quick taste. Yeah, and as I've come to expect with this machine, when you use that coffee option, you're actually gonna get something that tastes a little bit in the direction of a pour over. Instead of tasting like a longer shot of espresso like you might get from another super automatic machine, the spins coffee option makes a really, really good cup of coffee that again, to me, tastes kind of like a pour over, which is really exciting to get something like that in an automatic machine. This machine also has options for uh, espresso types, ristretto, which is an even closer to quote real espresso than what you get from the regular espresso option. And it's also got options for different kinds of uh, attempts at cold brew. And when it does that cold brew process, it actually spins and does a longer brewing process to cool down the brew chamber itself. So you get a kind of lukewarm coffee that if you brew it over ice, it will be cold by the time you take it off of the tray which is really exciting and it actually does taste, to my palate anyway, like cold brew that's done over a much longer extraction. So this versatility is really exciting and it's a big part of why we like this machine so much. But there's other features to it as well. So one of the cool things about this machine is that it has features for the coffee that you're actually putting into it. So once I'm in the Spin app, I can actually go to their coffee marketplace and take a look through different roasts. And they've got a pretty wide range of, of different pricing options, different roasters, different kinds of coffee. And you can select those coffees, order them right through the app and get them to your 
uh, house and get them into your machine. You can also order them from places like Seattle Coffee Gear, and if it's a coffee that's in the marketplace in the app, it will also work fine with the machine. And you're gonna use the scanning option, which you can see here, I don't have a bag in front of me, but we'd scan the bag and then it would recognize the bag once it goes into the machine. And what that means then is that baristas and people at those roasters can actually dial in the coffee for the machine so that you get perfect settings for that coffee in tandem with this machine. So it means that you're actually getting custom recipes for the machine from various different roasters that are featured in the app. You can also use coffee that isn't in the app. So there's a very good baseline settings for different kinds of coffee in this machine. So. Don't worry if you don't like the selections available or if you just want to use some of your normal coffee, you can do that as well. The big thing with this though is that like with any Super Automatic Espresso machine, you're going to want to avoid those really noticeably oily beans because those can clog up the insides of the machine and we don't want that. So we can also do a custom drink option. Here I'm going to go ahead and go into this cold brew drip drink and customize it and you can see that I can adjust the coffee amount uh, and the size of the drink. And this is gonna directly impact the strength and flavor of the drink. So then I can hit save drink. And add a name and save the recipe. If you're in a hurry and you don't wanna use the spin app, you can also just use the buttons that are on the front here. They're touch sensitive and they'll just let you brew your espresso, uh, your lungo, your coffee, or four different saved drinks that are recipes that you can put together in the app. Another nice feature with this app-based brewing is that uh, if you set a cup up before you go to bed the night before, in the morning, you can just tell the machine to make your coffee for you right from the app, and it'll be ready for you by the time you get downstairs to the kitchen. So other nice features of the app is things like they have really good support that you can access through the app if you do have a question or an issue with anything with the machine. You can also get different kinds of accessories through the app. Uh, they have travel mugs that are made for the machine. They've got different the filters that you can get, different parts in case something on the machine breaks that when you're using it. All this stuff makes for a really easy experience that's all done right in that app that you can combine with your existing services that you use to order coffee if you choose so. So overall, this is a really easy machine to use. It's easy to maintain. It makes really good different kinds of coffee and it does it all in a way that we haven't seen before. It's a connected device in more ways than a lot of other super automatic espresso machines. So if you're someone who likes the idea of really kind of experimenting and getting new recipes delivered regularly and trying lots of different kinds of coffees that are dialed in by people who make them, this is a great option for you though it is a little bit different. So if you're looking for something that's more traditional, it's possible that a more traditional super automatic espresso machine will be more up your alley. So I hope that that answers some questions about the spin. We're gonna have more content about this machine going up soon as well. And we hope that you enjoyed. If you did like it, make sure to hit that like button down below. Feel free to ask us any questions that you have and get subscribed for more spin content and other espresso and coffee content as well. Thanks so much for watching.